What's up, you guys? My name is Mary I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, give an eye, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for sign of Gemini. This is to resonate if you have Gemini in any aspects of your chart, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or the moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. Fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Let it fly. Sorry. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Um, free general oracle card for sign of Gemini. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 11,880 subscribers. So thanks so much for all the love and support. I truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart chakra. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. Uh, PayPal only, no cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. Um, I do not publicly display your name or how much you donate, just to let you know. Um, I received two channel messages in as I was, um, I heard keep it reversed, as I was meditating on your energy. So um, I'm going to share them. The first one I heard was shocking news coming. And I heard it kind of big, like shocking news coming. And the second one I heard was little red Corvette. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So I'm thinking you're either delivering shocking news to some person, people, place, or situation, or someone's delivering shocking news to you. Because um, the energies can be reversed. Or, yeah, that's how I feel it can go. And for the little red Corvette, maybe you're going to purchase a new little red Corvette or somebody you're connected to is going to purchase a little red Corvette. Or there's a song by Prince called Little Red Corvette. So maybe you like the song Little Red Corvette or somebody you're connected to does. Maybe you're jam dancing around in your jammies to Little Red Corvette for all I know. You plug it in how it resonates. Little Red Corvette. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know. You plug it in, how it resonates. Just saying, just saying. Maybe one of you guys is one, maybe one of you guys likes Prince, possibly. Um, I like Prince. No shame in my Prince game, just saying. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But little red Corvette energy, whether it's physical or metaphorical, like you like the song. How that resonates. Experiments, what messages do you have for sign of Gemini? Dagger, fear, worries, tense situations, valley, deep personal strength and peace that assure success. Um, number 68 or 18 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 68 or 18, it could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible uh, jersey number, possible, yeah, 68 or 18. Um, you have double earth sign energy in here. So for some of you guys, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, and for some, Several, uh, two plus Taurus, Capricorn, Virgos, because we have double Earth sign energy in here, possibly. Um, concealment reversed and boundaries upright. Wombat spirit, be at home. A particular Gemini is really enjoying spending time at home. Way more now. Wombat 
One particular Gemini has completely put out a Pisces. For one Gemini, a Pisces has passed away unexpectedly. It has really caused them to self-reflect. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so if this resonates for you, Gemini, I heard you enjoy being at home a lot more now. So it sounds like whoever this is for in the past, maybe you like to go out. Maybe you like to party. Maybe you just like to... If you didn't like to party, maybe you just like to travel or get out. But it sounds like now you like to just stay, you like to stay at home more um, versus getting out and going, 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 um, if this resonates for you. Um, and for some of you guys, Piscean energy is very significant in your life as well, um, if that resonates for you. For some of you guys, I heard of Pisces unexpectedly passed away. Um this person could have been close to you or not close to you. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But some kind of unexpected passing, it sounds like it's already happened in the universe of a Pisces unexpectedly passing away. For some of you guys, you've cut out a Pisces. Um, it sounds like they have been toxic to you in some shape, form, or fashion. And you have recognized this and you, with your intuition and you have cut them out. So Piscean energy strong, if that resonates for you. Um, so you're cutting out person toxic person it sounds like a piscean energy they could have pisces in their sun moon rising venus north and behavior jupiter charts and you're like liking to stay at home more whereas once it sounds like you didn't if this resonates for you and for some like i said there was an unexpected death of a piscean masculine or feminine and maybe for some you're mourning or grieving the loss of that person or maybe you went out with them a lot and um maybe the unexpected death of them has taught you some lessons um and maybe you just like to stay at home now possibly however that resonates um but be at home definitely is um staying at home more now energy if this resonates for you for some you like to spend time with your grandchildren for some you like to spend time with your grandchildren is what i heard so you plug it in how it resonates. So for some, you like to spend time with your grandchildren. Okay. Dear spirit, bring a gentle touch. For a Gemini, feminine, a Taurus, masculine is really going to try to hit on you in a huge way. Know this. Okay. Baby daddy for some. For some, you have this has been a secret relationship for a long, long, long time on and off. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So if this particular message resonates with you, you're a Gemini Fem and you're dealing with the force masculine. For some, it's your baby daddy. For some, it is um a secret relationship i heard that's been on and off for many a long ass time basically um but i heard he's going to try to hit on you again so basically he wants some young young i mean i don't know how to say it he wants some damn young young um the wop kind um now whether you choose to give it to him or not that's your free will i'm just saying um i wouldn't but just saying just saying he's going to try to bring a gen gentle touch to get some walk is what he's going to try to do um, but you also have the boundaries card. So if it was me, I wouldn't do it unless there was something serious there. Because people, I heard for some of you guys, you've been in a secret on a lot off relationship with them for a long time. They know they can come get that WAP anytime they want. And if you're, if he's your baby daddy, I think he feels privileged to think he can get that WAP anytime he wants. Now, whether you choose to give him the WAP or not, that's your free will. Um, but he's going to try to bring the gentle touch. With the deer energy. I'd cut those damn antlers off and had to leave them running. But that's just me. You plug it in how it resonates though.
Someone is going to try to smooth you with gentle words very soon. Know this. Someone you would have never expected. For some, it's a family member. For some, it is an ex-wife's sister you have slept with in the past. Oh, yuck. You plug it in how it resonates. Ew. Um, so if this resonates for you, um, ew, that's, I'm trying not to judge. I'm really not. Ugh. Whoever this resonates with, um, someone's going to try to smooth you with gentle words. So they're basically going to try to um, bring you in with niceties. Oh, how are you, buddy, buddy, friend, friend? How have you been? It's only been 20 years. But the, but basically, they're trying to smooth you in with gentle words and uh, communicate with you because they want to know something. They want to know something is what it is. Um, so for some, it's a family member. For some, and for, for some, they either want want some they want something from you they want something from you whether it's information whether it's time whether it's what whether it's um on the male side or the female side what as in penis or mm -mm, for the females just saying um they want something whether it's information um or money or some yum yum and i'm just serious but uh, for some, it's a family member. For some, it is a, I heard a um, ex-wife's sister. So what, what does the ex-wife's sister want with you? Only you know your story, not anybody else. Why the hell is the ex-wife's sister communicating with you unless they want something? You see what I'm saying? So they're going to bring a gentle touch. They're going to try to smooth you with their words. Um, just be careful. Yikes. For some, they could be an earth sign. For some, um, maybe they have earth in their chart. You plug it in how it resonates. You got double earth sign energy. And one of you guys is definitely dealing with the Taurus, for sure. Taurus masculine. So you plug it in how it resonates. Concealment reversed. Huge secrets are about to come out. Huge. Huge secrets. Some of these secrets a Gemini does not want coming out, but they're going to come out. And one Gemini's husband is about to go very public with a girlfriend. It's about to mortify them. Oh, my Lord. Whoa. What is going on, you guys? Whoa. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, huge secrets are about to come out. So concealment reverse, that's the secrets coming out, baby. I'm just thrilled. Um, not concealed anymore. They're about to come out. I heard some of you guys, the secrets you don't want coming out. But for some, it sounds like the secrets you do want coming out. Um, whatever side you're on there, whether you want them to come out, whether you don't want them to come out. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So... Or do you have deep, dark, new secrets that you don't want coming out? Or do you not have anything that doesn't need to be coming out? I mean, only you know your story, not anybody else. Um, but something's about to come out. And it's huge, deep, dark, new secrets. I'll tell you that. Whether you want them to come out, or whether you're going to help them come out, or whether you don't want them to come out. But they're about to come out whether you want them to come out, or you're going to help them come out, or you don't want them to come out. How that resonates. And for at least one of you guys, a Gemini film, I heard your husband um, is about to go very public with his girlfriend soon. You plug it in how it resonates, man. Oh, man. I try not to judge. Oh, boundaries.
A particular Gemini is about to make a phone call they never thought they would. For some, a text. They are about to put huge boundaries up and start communicating with people that matter. The actual truth this time. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So one of you guys is about to put up huge boundaries, but it sounds like in all fairness, there's about to be a reason you're about to put up huge boundaries. Something I think is about to happen or has already happened to make you put up huge boundaries in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, only you know what that is in your life, not anybody else. Um, but something has already happened or is about to happen to cause you to put up huge boundaries. For some, it could be your husband going very public with a girlfriend. That would be so embarrassing. I mean, so embarrassing. And I'm just serious. That's why I'm legally single on the tax return. And I've been for many, many, many moons. Many. And I'm just being for real, for real. I don't want no shit like that to happen. Because if that happened, we'd be going down courthouse and getting a divorce. And I'm just serious about that. I'm serious. That's embarrassing. And I hope you divorce his ass. I I'm serious. That's gross. Um, but I'm not judging. I'm not judging. I'm just telling you what I would do. Um, it's gross. And disrespectful. Um, but however that resonates, I heard whatever it is that's either about to make, um, about to make you put up your boundaries or has already had to make you, or already had you put up your boundaries, you put those babies up. You put the boundaries up, you have. And, um, I heard you're about to communicate with someone that really matters. The truth this time I heard. So I think you might have lied to someone in the past or you, you either lied to someone in the past that matters or... You withheld some kind of truth in the past from someone that matters. And I think you did it for strategic reasons. This is exactly what I think. Um, but it sounds like, and in this case, this could go with both of them. Um, you're about to communicate with them. It sounds like you're about to initiate it. You're about to communicate with them and tell the truth this time. So concealment reverse. In this situation, this particular message, you are initiating the contact. Whether it's, I heard phone call and text. So it's either a phone call or a text that you're about to send and speak the truth. It sounds like in the past, you either withheld the truth or you lied. How that resonates. Um, for some, it could be to that husband uh, or somebody else. I mean, I don't know. For some, it could be to that Taurus. I don't know. You plug it in, how it resonates. <laughs> Dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. Serious concern about medical health for one particular Gemini coming up. Serious. It's going to cause them to share their medical, newly medical diagnose, diagnosis and other medical diagnoses with some with exes because they will have to. It is about to come bad for some. Oh, wow. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Well, I heard HIV positive in here at the beginning. I was hoping it wasn't one of you guys. Maybe it's somebody you're connected to that's HIV positive, but I heard a, some of you guys, it's a newly medical diagnosis. So for some, it could be exacerbated conditions, how that resonates. But some kind of either new medical diagnosis or an exacerbated condition. It sounds like for you, if this resonates for you, hopefully only maybe one or two of you guys, but you're, you have fear, worries, and some kind of tense situation about this newly, sounds like newly diagnosed medical diagnosis or an exacerbated previous condition, how that resonates. It sounds like for you, um, if this resonates for you or somebody you're connected to, but um, 
if it resonates, I heard it's going to, it's, it sounds like it's not like a baby thing, like a cough or, you know, like, a, like a small little virus that goes away after two days, you know, um, it sounds like it's a big thing. So much so I heard it's going to cause you to share it with your ex. Um, it's that serious. Now, you know, I get it. I mean, I'm not, I don't have any medical diagnoses or mental health diagnoses. I don't even take prescribed med prescribed medicines for myself personally. But if I did and I had something very serious, I would not share it with my ex-husband unless I had to. So, I mean, I get it is what I'm trying to say. But whatever this is, it's very serious. It's so serious you're about to share it with your ex. Um, so it's got to be serious is what I'm trying to say. It's got to be serious, whatever it is. Um, and you're worried about it. You have fear and worry about it. For some, it possibly could be HIV, possibly. I hope to God it's not, but it might be for some. And I hate to say that because I heard HIV positive in here earlier. Now, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So only you know, but you plug it in how it resonates, okay? But it's some kind of serious medical diagnosis, whatever it is. And for some, it's so serious, you're about to share it with your ex. Um, I think it's in regards to um, caring for children. Uh, maybe all share children together is what I'm thinking. And that's why you're going to share it with your ex um, is what I'm thinking. But only you know your story, not anybody else. For one particular Gemini, a veteran of the past is about to get in contact with you again. Okay, I heard for one particular Gemini, a veteran of the past is about to get in contact with you again. So you plug it in how it resonates. So some kind of veteran of the past. Now, for some of you guys, you could be a veteran of the past. I mean, for some, you could be a veteran. That's what I'm saying. You could be a veteran, possibly. Or you could know a veteran of the past, and they're about to get in contact, recontact with you, how that resonates. You, I feel you either could be a veteran, and it's somebody you were in the armed forces with in some shape, form, or fashion, a former veteran as well. Um, or you are not a veteran. And it's just a veteran of your past that's getting in contact with you. Um, I think they might be worried about something, um, fearful and worried about something is what I'm thinking, possibly for some of them. Or you're worried about something, how that resonates. And one particular Gemini did not tell their ex about a death, but they're about to learn they already knew about it. Wow. Okay. And one particular Gemini did not tell their ex about a death, I heard, but they're about to learn that the, that their ex already knew about the death. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So in this situation, you're worried um, that you didn't tell your um, ex about some kind of death in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, it could be the death of that Pisces, that unexpected death, or a death of somebody else. Um, but however that resonates in your life, but I heard you're about to learn your ex already knew about it. Uh, whether it's the death of that unexpected death of the Pisces or an unexpected death of somebody else. How that resonates. For some, it could be unexpected death of Earth sign because we have double Earth sign energy in here, possibly. Valley, deep personal strength and peace that assures success. A Gemini is about to completely change their hair in a shocking way. Okay, I heard a Gemini is about to completely change their hair in a shocking way. So you're about to have strength um, to change your hair. Maybe you were fearful of changing your hair. Um, and you're about to pull out some personal power and change up your look. That's awesome. Just saying, just saying. Um, so changing up your hair in some shape, form, or fashion.
I particularly Gemini is about to get a phone call about a cold, cold case soon. A Gemini is about to help solve it. And it's going to lead to other series of chain of events to, uh, to catch the person that helped assist in this person's death. Air sign energy. Wow. Wow, Gemini, that's a good one. So if this resonates with you, you're about to get a phone call um, of some kind of cold case of the past. Um, it could be the unexpected death of the Pisces or somebody else, how that resonates. But um, some kind of cold case of the past. Um, and um, it sounds like you have already reached out to police um, about this cold case. Um, or has been in contact with police about this cold case, whether it was the unexpected death of this Pisces or somebody else. Um, but how that resonates, they're, I heard they're about to call you back soon, and um, you're going to help assist in basically giving them information to help solve the cold case. And I heard um, catch the person that assisted in their death, and I heard air sign energy. So I think a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, uh, another air sign helped assist in their death, but I think you know this. Um, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter charts, whoever this person is, and how they resonate in your life. Only you know your story, not anybody else. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope this helped, and namaste.